Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Native War Paints Honeydew Smoothies. I'm going to do a glitter topper and stamp. I've started with Peel Ease and look at this polish. It's Honeydew Smoothies by Native War Paints. Um, yeah, I hauled and swatched this collection way back in December and it's time to show this collection some love. I love this light green with that insane shimmer going on in it. It's so nice that it translates from the bottle to the nail. I know that's a pet peeve of many of us nail junkies that we see something in the bottle and that's not what we get on our nail. So I am doing three coats of this today, mostly because I've, I'm heavy handed and I kind of made a bald spot on the, especially this one right here that I'm doing, but it's all good. Look at that shimmer. Yes. And there we go. I'm still trying to bald spot that one. Give me a break. Okay, so we are going to do three coats of this rascal. We're just going to rock on into it. So there we go. We're going to cap that tip. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to be so sad when this goes away because um, I'm hearing that people are having trouble finding it. So I guess I need to get out there and find me another bottle of it. It's a huge bottle, so it's lasted a really long time. I know y'all see me use it a whole lot. But look at there, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna top it with the Sinful Colors. It's from the Pinata Blast special release, and it's called Bali Bali. And I've had this in my drawer forever. I have no idea how long it's been in there. Never used it. Breaking it out and using it today. I just thought these little blue, white, and peach colored little you know, glitters would look so cute over this. So I've decided to give it a go. And I'm not trying to go too crazy with a lot of full coverage. I want to see that green underneath. I just wanted to add a little something, something to it. You know, hi Woody, how you doing? Thank you so much. His services are always needed here at Moon Baby Nails. And I do, you know, I bought that a uh, bunch from that collection too, that Pinata Blast collection. I ended up even buying mine off of eBay because I had to have them. Somebody had them and was using them, and ooh, I had to have them. I got them in, swatched them, into the drawer they went. So we are working on that. And there's Woody again. I'm telling you. Look how pretty that is. I love it just like that. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat, though, because you guys know I got to do something. I got to do some stamping or something. I love it. There we go. I love it. I'm going to use this Pro FX Sticky Base and the Bundle Monster oh, Bam White. I haven't used it in so long. My Clear Jelly Stamper and Clear Jelly Scraper. Now my stamper is a knockoff. I'll be using BC07 Stamping Plate today. I'm a little spark mat just to keep my mess from you know getting everywhere use this image right here. You guys know I like those floopy loopy, girly, viney kind of stamping images. I'm just trying to get some of that excess up off of that stamper so that I don't transfer any of that onto my design. Now I am just going to do this on some accent nails today. I know, big surprise. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. I'm sure some people would think a lot of times less is more, but, you know, I'm a junkie. I just get to stamping sometimes and can't control myself. So there we go. I'm going to clean that stamper off on my lint roller and clean this plate off using my cotton claw and a piece of cotton ball. We're going to do this again on my ring finger. Not too much going on with that one. I had to make sure. I was scared I was missing part of it. So get that. See, and that's why I like using that little mat. I can scoot it out of my way and I don't have my hand down in excess paint. So there we go. Liking it. Liking it. I'm again going to use that Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. Seal that in without smearing it. White's one of the ones that smear the worst for me. It doesn't matter how long I let them dry, 
or how much I try to float that top coat, I end up smearing it. So I'm really happy to have, you know, a special top coat for that. I'll be using my posh to seal this all in. get her all sealed up so I don't lose that stamping and washing my hands and whatnot. But I really, really liked how this one turned out. It looks more spring than summer, but that's okay. I was really happy with it. But I always want to hear what you have to say about my manicures. There's Woody again. He's saying, hey, I need a break. But here comes my swatch photo. Swatch photo. Get your tongue together, Tina. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.